Lemir, why don't you tell us the story of the giant that stole Thor's hammer? Happily, my boy. It involves your friend Freya, too, though I don't expect it's one she'd enjoy being reminded of. The giant was called Thrym. And he proved cunning enough to make off with Mjolnir. Thunder Lummox slept. Sadly for Thrym, he didn't always think with his brain. Though he had robbed the greatest giant killer of his greatest weapon, he offered to trade it back to the Aesir in exchange for Freya as his bride. Now, at this point, Freya was married to Odin, and Odin, frankly, would have traded her for a sufficiently strong need, but he saw an opportunity. Thrym's palace was in Jotunheim and only giants know the way. By agreeing to the marriage, they'd have to escort Freya back to their realm. So, Odin coerced Freya into using her Sather magics to conceal Thor, so he could sneak along with her and infiltrate Jotunheim. When the hammer was produced as the wedding dowry, Thor revealed himself. He took back the Olnir and wasted no time in smashing Thrym's skull followed by every other giant present for the festivities. The only thing that put a stop to it was Freya, who wanted no part of this massacre. She cast a powerful spell that hurtled them both out of Jotunheim with no means of return. Odin was livid, hoping that Thor's foothold in Jotunheim would become his own. And oh, would he ever revenge himself upon Freya. What is the point of this story, Head? Well, for Thrym, the lesson would be to keep his priorities straight. For Freya, it's that doing good has a price. For Thor, it's that no object of power makes you what you are. And if what you are is the biggest butchering bastard in the Nine Realms, nobody can take that away from you.